Hey guys, it's me again, Barry with Barry's A-Track and Classic Car Radio Repair. And today we're demonstrating on one of my uh, signature full Delco system conversions. I wonder if this is going to help our lighting. We'll, we'll try that. Uh, this is sent in by Steve in Canton, Michigan. Uh, he is a repeat customer. Thank you so much for your repeat business, Steve. Uh, as I mentioned before, this is a full Delco system conversion uh, without Bluetooth or USB. It's just a straight um, modern conversion. So let's go ahead and turn her on. And we're going to FM at the moment. We'll just run it down the dial, make sure we pick up a few stations. Which proceed from the misconduct of public men. Here at Point of View. Free give up all things. Taking a test drive. Over the years. Okay, there's about 15 so far. Two fifty. Put that in your cell phone. Hit. Oh. Idea of biblical truth. Painless and perfect. Huh. As you mean. Day with your support. Okay, that's about uh, all oh, around thirty stations or so. So let's flip it over to AM. Get, get three stations in my area on the AM band. I'm in the green room. There's one. Two and three. Okay, so let's go back to FM. And now I'll demonstrate the virtual balance and fader functions. Uh, this was a mono radio originally. It did not have a balance or fader control. Now it does. It's in the tone control. And I'm going to demonstrate how to use the tone control to adjust the front rear fader action right now. We give this control two turns to the right. Uh, as you can see, I rotated it to about the center position, so I've got room to turn it either way. So we're going to turn this twice to the right. Going to bring our output level to the picture so we can see the results of our adjustments. Turn this light off here. Okay, you're going to give our control, tone control, two turns to the right. Fader adjust. Fader adjust. Okay, so now the same control is adjusting front rear fade all the way front. All the way rear, front, rear. Okay, I'm gonna center speaker, I'm gonna stop adjusting it, and after about two seconds, fader set. fader set. That means this is setting has been saved, and now you can return your tone control to where you like it to sound, which for most people is gonna be all the way up. Okay, now we're gonna adjust our left right balance. Same procedure, except we turn this tone control twice to the left to activate it. So here we go. Balance adjust. Okay, so now this control is adjusting our left-right balance. It's all being done by the same control. So let's send the speakers, stop adjusting it. Balance set. Balance set. Okay, now we can take our tone control back to where we like it to sound. Alrighty, next thing to check is the A-track. We're gonna pop in, uh, let's just go, ahead and, let's go straight to Ann Murray here. We don't need these, le these meters anymore. Switch tracks a bunch of times. Pull the tape out, radio should come back on. And now we're going to test the aux input. I'm just going to feed a quick tone into it just to make sure that it switches over. And one side, 
and the other side okay now you see that the radio is not coming back for 20 seconds after we use the aux input uh, that's because of a vox circuit that holds onto the aux input longer than it really needs to that's just to make sure it's not constantly switching back and forth between the radio and aux during quiet music passages between songs stuff like that so we'll just wait another seven or eight seconds for this radio to come back and it just came back and the last thing to check is the dial light and that's working as well so she's all ready to go here everything has been tested and found to be in proper working order she's ready to go back to the customer I'm ready to decide what I want to do next I haven't quite decided that yet at any rate I'm Barry with Barry's 8-track and classic car radio repair and you've just seen what I can do to a uh, classic car AM radio actually this is an AM FM radio but it's got a lot more output power now and the 8-track works with it uh, seamlessly so uh, my website is in the description below. My phone number is, and this is for paying repair jobs only. Don't call me to buy parts, belts, or to ask me for free repair advice or how to hook up that $5 yard sale fine that you don't want to put any more money into. That's not why I'm here. I am here to repair your A-Track and get paid and earn a living. Uh, so, uh, my website's in the description below. My phone number is 928-533-9666. Thanks so much for watching and listening, and we'll see you next time.